so the other day, not today, the day before the other day, that the other day that I released a video, I asked you, Leave your entries in the subreddit pros, and I'll watch submissions in the next episode. To don to don to ba ti 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 o d i a i o i Hey, what's going on my gravy babies? It's another episode of I Sorrow Productions Productions ISP Plays Hearts of Iron 4. And before we start, I just need to mention that it's the last day for you guys to enter the Hearts of Iron 4 giveaway. There's obviously no reason for you guys not to enter for a free copy of Hearts of Iron 4, so good luck, link in the description. So I've gone ahead and researched all tech for a certain amount of countries. All the major ones have all tech unlocked, but countries in South America or Iran or Afghanistan, they don't have all the tech unlocked because it turns out, it turns out if you give the AI an unlimited amount of tech, the AI will shit out units faster than an American after an all-you-can-eat Mexican buffet. So of course this won't really be so much of a challenge as it's probably going to be a bit of a clusterfuck and as you can see we've actually got all branches of the tech unlocked so we're probably going to be able to make some beefy fucking units. So I was thinking about playing a different nation than Journey but at the same time I, I really just feel like going absolutely ham on the AI but I am incredibly worried that the AI might just nuke me into oblivion because half the world has nukes unlocked and I'm going to be at war with said half the world. Oh shit, I almost completely forgot to give New Zealand all research unlocked, but uh, if you want to know what the command is, here you go. Have fun and ruin your life like me. So one thing I'm extremely interested to see is what exactly China's going to do here, because with all tech unlocked, China's going to be one hell of a beastie fucking tiger. Oh shit, guys, the world trembles as Big Bob has entered the scene! Uh, trembles with laughter. So I didn't think about this, but because Spain entered a civil war, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna get any of all the research. Yeah, they've definitely not got all the research because my tanks are just rolling over them harder than fucking ever. And down with the communists! Yeah, we see, we were having a really easy time until the Soviets turned up with their all research unlocked beastly mountaineers that are just like, nope! Not today, Germany! Thankfully though, the Soviets eventually got hungry and died. So as predicted, the China-Japan war's not really going that well, although they have landed down here, but I'm they can't, you can't, you're losing the major front up here. Oh, even though the AI has all the tech unlocked, they're thankfully still very scared of me, and so they should be, even though I'm extremely weak right now. Please don't kill me. Oh, oh there you go. First nuke of the fucking game. Somebody <laughs> went a nuke Shandong. It had to be the one with Dong in the name, didn't it? So I'm just going to play this as a normal Germany game. Take Sudetenland, Anschluss, you know, then Danzig or War, then a no World War II with a Battle Royale mode! Now we're five times more pirates. Oh. Oh, okay. So Communist China's joined the common turn, which now means Japan's at war with the Soviets, or at least they're gonna be. What the fuck happened to your troops, here? Oh, well, that's interesting. It appears Japan's now at peace with China and still at war with the Soviets, though. So... I don't, I don't think Hirohito is going to do that well. Well, unsurprisingly, Poland's saying no, which means it's time for World War II, electric boogaloo, I'm going to get nuked into oblivion. Militarily wise, I'm not worried about anything but the air. I'm pretty sure I'm 100% going to end up being nuked, so I'm going to try push France out ASAP. Of all the places for them to nuke, they nuked Prague. <laughs> Also gonna quickly take out Denmark to secure the strait so the British can't keep landing fucking troops over here and so far it's actually going really well. I've only been nuked in Prague so... Ah, now the big question you've all been waiting for, can I still Blitzkrieg? Kinda. I don't know who in my alliance decided to nuke Algiers but I get the feeling it's probably Mussolini. So we managed to take France pretty easy but the British aren't really getting the hint that they aren't wanted. Well interestingly enough Romania's in a civil war and the fascist side decided to join the allies. 
it makes a whole lot of sense. So now all we need to do is get control over the English Channel, which my naval bombers are going to do quite easily, and then Britain shall be ripe for the taking. I really like to know who in my alliance keeps finding a way past the British air defence and nuking their cities. So we've naval bombed the British fleet into not existing anymore, and now we're gonna go ahead and try a naval invasion. Hopefully there's not too many troops garrisoning the... Okay then, uh, we're gonna have to try something else. So I never really used to use naval bombers that much, but I realise if you just stack over 3,000 in the English Channel with air superiority, the British fleet stands literally no chance. It, it, their, their, their navy quite literally dissipates into nothing. Right, now we dropped a couple of these bad boys. We'll try it again, shall we? Just keep dropping some tactical nukes on Dover and eventually they'll die from radiation poisoning or just, you know, melting. Uh, either or is pr pretty good for me. Ah, so the British actually had the majority of their troops actually death stacked on those provinces. The rest of the UK is not very defended. Well, that wasn't actually as easy as you might believe. So that may have seemed easy, but it was actually quite the struggle because the British and French combined were just spamming out fighters to compete with me. And when they're level three, it's, it's really hard to deal with. So I had to move the majority of my factories onto air production, but we got there in the end. And uh, I'm not going to invade Stalin yet. I'm going to let him build up a little bit more. But the good news is, is now that we have the Kiwi Empire and John Amond, who's... I don't know what the fuck that face is. We can go ahead and license production one of the best tanks in the entire game. But I won't just be taking the tank. I think I'll be taking the entirety of the production line for the big bop. That's right. Give me that super heavy artillery and anti-tank. Oh, well, I was going to go to a Russia, but it appears the Americans want a little piece of the pie. I was going to wait for them to declare on me, but they don't appear to be doing it, so I'm just going to go ahead and declare on them myself, and uh, we'll see just how well the USA with all tech and locked actually does. Um, apparently not that well, yeah. Jesus. Oh, Norway joined the war. What the fuck? Oh, well, I was going to invade Norway through Sweden, but it appears the Italians and the Romanians are actually taking care of it on their own. So so I was making some good pushes at the start, but the Americans are actually slowing me down just a little bit now. So we're still making good gains. I'm not entirely sure where the majority of their army is, though, because it's, it's not fucking here, and they apparently have 200 divisions. Also, look at this division template. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, I, I probably could have made something a bit better, but I just thought, fuck it, throw a bicycle division in. For whatever reason, the Americans came to the English Channel, which is where I left my naval bombers. The, the one province my naval bombers are still in. Well, I've still got my justification on Sweden, so I guess we'll just invade them anyway. I got, I mean, I got no reason not to. They are Swedish after all, and how can you not slap them about a little? I didn't even know, but there's an event <laughs> when Germany invades uh, California that you can seize Charlie Chaplin and bring him to Hitler. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know this was in the fucking game. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really overpowered, aren't I? So we've taken America now, and yes, I think we can all agree I'm extremely overpowered, but there is one person we still need to take out, and that is the Soviet Union, who I've given a lot of time to build up, but I get the feeling... I might just roll over them anyway. Unfortunately, I ran out of chromosomes, so I've had to borrow some from Turkey. Okay, let me understand this. So Japan just lost to the Soviets, and the Chinese and the Communist Chinese rejoined the Soviet war against Japan. But now that they've won, China immediately left, and Ch Communist China declared war on China. But China still had troops in Russia, who they're now at war with, and now this exists. So I, I guess I'll go to war with you now. What? Yeah, I don't think the Soviets were entirely expecting this, but it, this is more interesting just to see how many disgusting unit templates I can make. And, uh, oh, look, somebody nuked Kiev. Yeah, since I've got so many puppets and allies, they're just nuking the Soviets into oblivion. I, I've yet to receive a nuke from the Soviets, which I'm pretty impressed about. Yeah, so the Soviets had, like, 300 divisions before the war they now have between 47 and 104 they've taken 2.6 million casualties i've taken 100k 
Okay. Oh my fucking god, the madman's did it. The Kiwi Empire and Italy combined to capitulate in Japan. <laughs> the fucking dream team. Yeah, so that was just basically a pub stomp other than the first war of the Allies where I was getting bummed to hell. <laughs> It was still pretty enjoyable though, making all those crazy divisions and just storming over everyone. But I think next time if I do this again, I'll do it without researching all the tech myself and just giving all the AI all their research, which is more of a challenge. But again, this video wasn't a challenge. It was just seeing what would happen. And as you saw, a lot of weird shit happened. Most notably, uh, Kiwi Empire invading japan that that was something else but anyway it was still a pretty fun game to play i hope you all enjoyed it as well i hope you leave a like hit the subscribe button and hey leave me a suggestion down below of any other interesting scenarios you think i should try out and it is the last few hours now as this video is uploaded for you guys to try and enter the giveaway for a copy of hearts Fine 4 and i probably won't be doing another giveaway until the next dlc releases so until next time guys bye